but it's written by a team you've never heard of. And I wanted to kind of, I wanted to focus on some of the great Tin Pan Alley songs that are written by writers nobody's ever heard of. Now, Gus Kahn was a lyric writer for this song. He came to Chicago from Koblenz, Germany. So he's another writer who is not a native speaker, another hit Tin Pan Alley lyricist who's not a native speaker. Now, he cut his teeth writing for vaudeville before moving to Hollywood. And his composer on this next song was a shy guy named Isham Jones, who was actually a coal miner from Ohio. And he wanted to get out of town, so he decided to uh, become a band leader. That's how you get out of your small town, you just become a band leader, move to Chicago. and. Um, I'm going to sort of deconstruct this as we go, I think. Um, and I'm not going to tell you what the song is because I think you probably, once we hit the release, once we hit the verse, uh, the chorus, you'll all know it's in the first line right there. But um, I'm going to sing an intro. A lot of these songs were written for vaudeville or burlesque to be sung as duets. So somebody would complain about the partner on stage. <laughs> You're such an awful person, but I love you anyway. And then the other person would sing the verse to the next chorus. That's kind of how they kept it moving. So I've taken one of those verses to set for you going into the chorus of this song. It seems like dreams that I've always had could be, should be, making me glad. Why am I blue? It's up to you to explain. I'm thinking maybe, baby, I'll go away. And someday you'll come and say, it's you that I need. And you'll be pleading in vain. It had to be you. So let me, let me, I'll just talk for this. It had to be you. Now, I have a question here. What version of the word had is this? Is this, I know, they really want, it's that, it's that kind of a song. You just want to play it. But, but it had to be you. Is this the ironic use of the word had, or is this the imperative use of the word had? Just file that away. It had to be you. It had to be you. And then the figure repeats and kind of wanders around. I wandered around and finally found somebody who, but it's still repeating and it's not really going very far. Until this line, could make me be true, could make me be blue. Now this is the home of the Kenyan Review. And if you'll notice, the rhymes at the end of the lines are not very sophisticated. So far we've had you, do, blue, and true. And even be glad just to be sad. Another brilliant rhyme. Glad and sad. Thinking of you. Couldn't they think of anything besides you to rhyme with you? The lyric is so simple. No, seriously. The lyric is so simple that it creates this magical feeling that you could have thought of that. You, the average person on the street, could have made up that song. And that's one of the brilliant things about this song. And now it, the plot gets a little more complex. Some others I've seen. Aha. Okay. Now, rhyming scene might never be mean. Well, that's not a brilliant rhyme, except we've all been there, right? Some others I've seen might never be mean, might never be cross, or try to be boss. Cross boss, again. It's not Nobel Prize winning stuff, except we've all felt that way about someone that we love, a kid, a, a, a boyfriend or a girlfriend, a parent, some other might never, might never be cross or try to be boss, but they wouldn't do. And then the lyric, which keeps curling around on itself, finally opens up and releases and says, but nobody else gave me a thrill. Aha. And then she sums it up. With all your faults, I love you still. It 
had to be you. Now the word had is the imperative of had. It's not the had of, oi, you just walked into the party and it had to be you. It's not that had. It's it had to be you. It must, it had to have been you in my life. Wonderful you. It had to be you. Should we, should we play through it once, guys? I think we should invite Professor Bureau back up, don't you think? Yeah. yeah.